The Arizona Cardinals getting ready for the Seattle Seahawks. Jonathan Gannon has come out and provided us a little bit of detail on who might be available this coming Sunday. And former All-Pro offensive lineman and former Arizona Cardinal is now available for a potential re-sign with the Arizona Cardinals. Let's get started. into another video definitely do me a huge favor smack up that like button and subscribe for more arizona cardinals content on this channel we're covering the arizona cardinals breaking news conversational pieces everything surrounding your favorite team so subscribe it up it's absolutely for free you guys will see the injury report when it comes out today um all their game statuses hopefully that's good enough all right everybody let's go and dive right into it let's first dive right into the new players that have popped up on the injury report for the arizona cardinals heading into our week 12 matchup versus the seattle seahawks now we've already mentioned the fact that Jalen Thompson has been a did not practice for several days now and we've all said to ourselves don't panic yet when we first originally started talking about it I believe it was around Tuesday or Wednesday but now it's starting to kind of get towards the later part of the week and he still hasn't practiced with an ankle injury so I think Jalen Thompson if I'm going to go ahead and put my best guesstimation out there right now and yes we have not quite 100% already learned the uh, the status of you know any of the guys are they going are they not going uh, in week 12 but my best guess here is that Jalen Thompson will potentially miss another week which means we're going to be seeing another dosage of Deidre and Taylor Demerson which is the rookie that we ended up getting in the fourth round pick this year and so far he's looked pretty darn good now a couple other people showed up here on the did not practice injury report here for the Cardinals Max Melton with an illness now every time I see an illness I'm not really worried about it too much unless it's like something completely, completely crazy, right? Now, it could be an idea that Max Melton might have, have to miss uh, Thursday. Is good to go here on Friday. Obviously, that's definitely something that we're going to keep our eyes on if Max Melton will be playing this coming Sunday. Now, if he doesn't play, most likely you're going to be seeing Sean Murphy Bunting uh, step in in that role. So, I understand how everybody feels about Sean Murphy Bunting. I kind of feel the same way about him as well. But, if Max Melton is not 100%, no point in forcing him out there. If Sean Murphy Bunting could come out here on Sunday, if Max Melton can't go and see if he can actually prove that he's a staple point on this defense now as of right now I do prefer Max Melton but like I said if he's not 100% no point in forcing it now we did hear Jonathan Gannon come out this morning saying that he does not want to address anything in terms of the status of players like Jonah Williams or even Darius Robinson about the week 12 matchup versus the Seattle Seahawks he did say that wait for the uh the last injury report to drop this coming Friday to get the official official but right now with what it kind of seems like we're probably going to be dealing in a world where where Darius Robinson and Jonah Williams are probably going to be questionable and let's be honest right those are the guys that everybody's really kind of got their eyes on because if you truly think about it we got Kelvin Beecham right now listed as limited on Thursday practice if Jonah Williams can go that can definitely be a plug and play player there if Jalen Thompson doesn't go of course we got Dadrian Taylor Demerson to go ahead and come in there if Max Melton doesn't go of course we got Sean Murphy Bunting number one player right now that a lot of people have their eyes on if if he's going to play or not most likely is going to be Darius Robinson and Jonah Williams Williams but I think Darius Robinson is going to be a little bit more people getting excited about potentially seeing his debut here in week 12. Uh, excited uh what's today Tuesday well, no Wednesday I uh, had a great Wednesday practice I uh, just decided to be out there with my teammates today uh, definitely got better so just excited and uh ready for meetings the rest of the day and dinner so just enjoy the day man. You think it's gonna happen Sunday? I don't know man I'll just take it one day at a time just excited for the meeting later to uh, watch the tape with my coaches and see where I can get better at from today's practice. How much are you eating? I mean yeah it's uh it's been a long time. I haven't played since the Cotton Bowl, but at the end of the day, um, I'm just on my journey right now, and um, whatever we see best for the team, I'm going to do. So just focus on being the best Darius today. I don't think we're going to be getting the information until potentially maybe Saturday or, heck, maybe even Sunday, being the fact that he might be a game-time decision and probably listed as questionable for the game status heading into Week 12. But this is not new, right? This is not something that Jonathan Gannon has just started doing. He's always been doing this throughout his tenure as a head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. He loves loves to keep his cards close to his vest. He doesn't like to give too much information. We'd love to get any sort of advantage heading into week 12, especially versus a division rival in the Seattle Seahawks. So that is for the injury report here for the Cardinals. One thing I also want to mention here, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that we ended up seeing a report earlier this morning that DJ Humphreys, yes, if that sounds like a familiar name for Arizona Cardinal, left tackle that we ended up getting, I believe it was in 2015, 2016. It, it, 
it was a while ago, right? But he was such a staple point in this Arizona Cardinal locker room, had an infectious smile. Unfortunately, he ended up, you know, getting hurt and the Cardinals ended up releasing him. Now, Monty Austin Fort, when asked, he did say that the potential of a reunion bringing him back in this locker room be an Arizona Cardinal again, was laid out, right? The foundation was laid out. Monty Allsport says that, yeah, I mean, he potentially would bring him back if obviously the money's right and if it's a good fit. Being the fact that right now that we saw this report here from Ian Rappaport saying this, former Arizona Cardinal pro bowler left tackle DJ Humphreys, who's recovering from a torn ACL, has been medically cleared to return to play, sources said. Humphreys visited the Giants earlier in the season and could be a key option in the event of a major injury. Now, I also did see a report coming out here saying that he probably is going to target somewhere along the lines of it, maybe of a contending team or a fringe team, maybe a fringe playoff team, probably who DJ Humphreys is going to target. We all know the Giants right now are currently in shambles. If you guys do not know, they ended up releasing Daniel Jones just outright. So right now, the New York Giants right now are going through a lot of things that they're going to have to fix up this offseason. So do I see DJ Humphreys? signing with the Giants probably not but right now it is open the fact that he's medically cleared you're probably going to hear a lot more reports about DJ Humphreys potentially making visits to all the other 31 teams and let's let's call it like it is he was a solid left tackle for the Arizona Cardinals and a pro bowler so here's a big question out there would you Arizona Cardinal fans out there want to get a reunion with DJ Humphreys for a potential depth piece. Obviously, right now, Paris Johnson Jr. is going to be the left tackle of the future for the Cardinals. And right now, it seems like that right tackle is being held down by Kelvin Beecham. And then when Jonah Williams comes back, he most likely probably will fill in that role. But would you see a scenario where potentially Cardinals go after a DJ Humphreys, especially if the money is right? And he could be listed as a really, really good depth piece for the Cardinals because you never know what's going to happen here, right? You never know what's going to happen on the offensive line. Some teams might absolutely be derailed with the idea of losing such a big staple point in that offensive line. Now, the Arizona Cardinals have gone through the ringer when it comes down to that right side of that offensive line with obviously Jonah Williams going down earlier in the season. Now, hopefully, he's going to be making his return soon. Will Hernandez going down for the year. And maybe, just maybe, the Arizona Cardinals can reach out to DJ Humphreys' teams and try to find out exactly what they're looking for. If he's looking for a starting role, then that probably won't be a fit here for for the Arizona Cardinals but obviously if he's looking to reunite back here in the desert and potentially take on a depth role which you never know what's going to happen maybe he could sign a contract here with the Arizona Cardinals I know there's a lot of members here in the bird gang a part of this Arizona Cardinals fan base that would love to see DJ Humphreys back in this locker room but what is your thoughts ladies and gentlemen what ladies and gentlemen what would you want the Arizona Cardinals to do would you want them to reach out to DJ Humphreys and potentially sign him back here on a one two year deal as a depth piece let me know in the comments below I I appreciate y'all for tuning in as always. Have a great rest of your day and go Cardinals. You guys will see the injury report when it comes out today. Um, all their game statuses, hopefully that's good enough.